Holy ah, part three. The battery is gonna be a problem. The camera guys is jolting when I put it down. I apologize. And YouTube doesn't have editor anymore, so I can't put it all together. Part three finishing up. Fast five at only three yards. Seeing if I can hold it all within that circle or not. I'm kind of curious how much slower my splits are. They're feeling a little bit slower than what I'm used to. I'm talking about, you know, swap a pistol though. For me, this is great secondary size. If they, uh, you know, I'm waiting a few more months until I maybe order one and throw it in my pocket, but I think this would be possible, you know, be an LCP replacement in the uh, jeans. Uh, I don't know if it could replace the LCP, or I'm sorry, in shorts. And like the cargo shorts I have on, I don't know if it could replace LCP in jeans. It's a little bit bigger and probably going to be a little too hard for me to draw. Uh, uh, but still thinking about this thing. But um, for me, it's it's like space Japanese future miniaturization. It's a great for pushing the firearm, uh, firearms industry for minis miniaturization. It is. It's, a, it's, it's very good at that, and if they can get it down to be just a little bit more reliable, maybe they're doing that. And, you know, hopefully about the other one, and they're so back ordered. Four or five months with Brownell, some people are doing that um, things will be totally good to go by that. They still say it's a very low percentage of returns, and, you know, when you know, want to take a break, and I'm pretty mad about it. But then again, I don't, you know, I, I've got maybe 150 rounds in my SP total. I you know, don't have a 2,000 round range review. It's something like an LC that goes in your pocket. And yet people are shooting this kind of like it's a full size and expecting the same. I don't think that's really necessarily fair either. You know, with a higher brand like SIG, it should be. Okay? But anyway, guys, let's do the Fast Five. And uh, then I'll wrap it up with final thoughts. See the controllability again, not the hottest stuff. I got it with the Federal Brass, but I do have the Pinky Mag on it. Dropping the slide stop for the first time instead of uh, racking it. Let's see, and no problems. Okay, with the Pinky Extender and 115 Federal Brass, which is only at uh, 11, what did I say earlier? So it's not the hottest stuff. It's not like the SMB I shot at first. So this is more equivalent to regular pressure, 323 gram. It's a little less than self-defense regular pressure, 323 foot pounds or 1125. Um, the SMB is more almost like the plus P loads. So here we go, fast five. Huh. Okay, that was surprisingly pretty good. I just fired faster as the barrel came down. Uh, with the peaking extender, I definitely feel better control. It wasn't um, it wasn't messing up my sight picture and going high and left and recoil and kind of then jolting around and taking muscular control to stabilize it. I, I think those splits were pretty fast. It was probably uh, probably 20, probably 20 splits. I didn't time it, but um, that was good. I wish I kind of would have done that at five yards as well, but that's that's acceptable. So definitely this, you know, and that's five five yards. If, if most, FBI's been saying most are like seven yards for centuries, and FBI, uh, New York PD stats say about 38% happen to be to close to the breath distance, five yards is probably where, except most stuff's going to happen, and this can definitely do it. So, do I like the SIG P365? Yes. Do I think it should be someone's first pistol? Even a, a woman? No. No, you should also have something bigger that you're training on, whether it's a 320 compact, staying with SIG, or anything else. Um, maybe it's more controllable for someone smaller size, with at least the, the lower pressure stuff and a pinky extender on it. Maybe it's a little more controllable for people smaller size. It, it doesn't jump around as much in the hand, maybe. I don't know. I'm just one tester. Um, but that's pro that'd probably be, you'd have to go with the only good standard pressure 9mm, in my opinion, is 124 grain H HST. The only really good one. And maybe the SIG, uh, either 115 or 124, is also pretty good. I mean, it goes deep. The expansion is not quite as good. But that's decent. Like, that's decent. That's good. That'd be definitely good enough for a pocket carry, occasional, or backup for me. 
Um, I prefer something I can get 124 plus P HST or gold and saber bonded, black belt, etc. Or, or gold dots if I was law enforcement, the plus P uh, involved. So, um, yeah, I'm a little torn on it. I mean, I like it. It feels great. The sights that you come with it, that are great. I mean, it's still going for uh, a fairly good amount. I think 500 is the cheapest you can get it on law enforcement. 500 is the cheapest I found with coming with a couple boxes of the SIG 115 um, jacket of hollow point ammo, the V crown. So, um, the, but the fact that now it's with x rays, that's a huge benefit. Coming with the two mags is a great benefit. $50 12 round mag isn't awesome. But, you know, if you like SIGs, and I love my 320 compact, you know, this could be the way to go. And uh, anyway, guys. Those are my thoughts, first shots, first impressions, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other video, guys, and oh, before I wrap it up, hey, stay around. Look, before I wrap it up, let's give a little bit of a size comparison. I gotta be careful, these are hot guns. And look, I've got the pink extender on it, so that's good. So you see, it's kind of dwarfing it. And the PPQSC is pretty small. This is also 10 plus 1 right now loaded. I'm being safe, it's downrange. It ain't gonna go boom just like that. Let's look at that, a little bit of size comparison. I can't do it all the way around. But this is what I've been talking about the whole video and people don't realize this. On the other end of the spectrum, what's always in my offside pocket, which the 365 could replace like I talked about. And that's got the um, 7 plus 1 in there because it's got the extended mag in it. But there's an LCP. So an LCP a little bit smaller. 365, only a little bit bigger than LCP. Same almost exact size as LC9S. Or LC9, whatever version you want, EC9, whatever. So hopefully that kind of puts some of my comments in perspective, guys. LCP 380, SIG P365 9, 10 plus 1, set up with pinky extender, and Waller PPQSC the same way. So you kind of see really small, pretty darn small and subcompact. Okay, I'm Dan the Wolfman. Guess what's gonna come up in the next video, guys? Hopefully it'll be a little better produced and put together the comparison between these two bad boys. Please thumbs up, please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side.